Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, do you ever worry? Do you ever get anxious about things like, you know, the people in your life, the relationships, how things are going to turn out? Well, most of us struggle a little bit with worry, maybe even a lot. And if you struggle with worry or anxiety, I've got a verse for you. It's actually two verses. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So what Paul is saying to us is instead of worrying, try this. First of all, take your requests to God. Talk to God about what you're worried about. If you're thinking about something negatively and you're worried and you're anxious, then, then turn that into prayer and bring that request, that worry to God and say, God, here's what I'm worried about. I'd like you to take care of it and start praying through that. It doesn't matter if it's your situation, your health, your relationships, your financial needs, or the decisions that you need to make. Bring your requests to God. And when you bring them, do it with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. Praise God for his goodness. Praise God for his promises. Praise God for his mercy towards you, that your sins are forgiven. Praise God for the way he's provided for you. Praise God for his presence in your life, the promises that are true. And praise God ultimately that heaven is your destiny because if you're a follower of Jesus, then nothing in this world can stop you from getting to heaven. And as you give thanks, bringing those requests to God, do you know what happens? At least it does in my life. It does according to scripture. Peace guards your heart. The peace of God, the peace of Christ, which passes all understandings, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now that's an amazing promise. It doesn't always happen immediately, but I guarantee you, if you practice this, and this is a learned practice to kind of counter your worrying, counter your anxiety. Uh, so learn the verse. Memorize the verse. I know some of you say, I can't memorize. Hey, if it means something to you, memorize it. I, I learned it in the, uh, probably the New American Standard Version uh, 40 plus years ago. Probably 45 years ago now. Be anxious for nothing. That's what Paul says. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. You can learn this. Learn it whatever translation you want. I don't care. Just learn the truth because if we read and apply God's word, God will change our lives. So memorize the verse. And then whenever you start to get worried, start to get anxious, why don't you recite the verse and just practice what I just shared. Bring your request to God with thanksgiving and see what God does in your life. Because I believe if you do this, your peace will increase and your anxiety will diminish. Well, I hope that blesses you, not just today, but in the future as you practice this. God bless.